Vietnamese Viet is an Austroasiatic language that originated in Vietnam, where it is the national and official language. It is the native language of the Vietnamese people, as well as a first or second language for the many ethnic minorities of Vietnam. As a result of Vietnamese emigration and cultural influence, Vietnamese speakers are found throughout the world, notably in East and Southeast Asia, North America, Australia and Western Europe. Vietnamese has also been officially recognized as a minority language in the Czech Republic. Vietnamese is the Austroasiatic language with by far the most speakers, several times as many as the rest of the family combined. Its vocabulary has borrowings from Chinese, and it formerly used a modified set of Chinese characters called Chu Nam given vernacular pronunciation. The Vietnamese alphabet in use today is a Latin alphabet with additional diacritics for tones and certain letters. Geographic distribution As a national language, Vietnamese is the official language used by everyone in Vietnam. It is similar to UU UU spoken by the Jin in southern Guangxi province in China. However, the language spoken by the Jin is unintelligible to Vietnamese, although they share many similarities. A significant number of native speakers also reside in neighboring Cambodia and Laos. In the United States, Vietnamese is the fifth most spoken language, with over 1.5 million speakers, who are concentrated in a handful of states. It is the third most spoken language in Texas and Washington, fourth in Georgia, Louisiana, and Virginia, and fifth in Arkansas and California. Vietnamese is the seventh most spoken language in Australia. In France, it is the most spoken Asian language and the eighth most spoken immigrant language at home. Topic. Official status Vietnamese is the sole official and national language of Vietnam. It is the first language of the majority of the Vietnamese population, as well as a first or second language for the country's ethnic minority groups. In the Czech Republic, Vietnamese has been recognized as one of 14 minority languages, on the basis of communities that have resided in the country either traditionally or on a long-term basis. This status grants Czech citizens from the Vietnamese community the right to use Vietnamese with public authorities and at courts anywhere in the country. Moreover, it also grants the use of Vietnamese in public signage, election information, cultural institutions, and access to legal information and assistance in municipalities where at least 10% of the population is of the minority group. As a foreign language Vietnamese is increasingly being taught in schools and institutions outside of Vietnam. In countries with strongly established Vietnamese-speaking communities such as Australia, Canada, France, and the United States, Vietnamese language education largely serves as a cultural role to link descendants of Vietnamese immigrants to their ancestral culture. Meanwhile, in countries near Vietnam such as Cambodia, Laos, South Korea, and Thailand, the increased role of Vietnamese in foreign language education is largely due to the growth and influence of Vietnam's economy. Since the 1980s, Vietnamese language schools have been established for youth in many Vietnamese speaking communities around the world, notably in the United States. Historic and stronger trade and diplomatic relations with Vietnam and a growing interest among the French Vietnamese population one of France's most established non-European ethnic groups of their ancestral culture have also led to an increasing number of institutions in France, including universities, to offer formal courses in the language. Since the late 1980s, the Vietnamese German community has enlisted the support of city governments to bring Vietnamese into high school curricula for the purpose of teaching and reminding Vietnamese German students of their mother tongue. Furthermore, there has also been a number of Germans studying Vietnamese due to increased economic investment in Vietnam. Vietnamese is taught in schools in the form of dual immersion to a varying degree in Cambodia, Laos, and the United States. Classes teach students subjects in Vietnamese and another language. Furthermore, in Thailand, Vietnamese is one of the most popular foreign languages in schools and colleges. Linguistic classification 
Vietnamese was identified more than 150 years ago as part of the Mon Khmer branch of the Austroasiatic language family a family that also includes Khmer, spoken in Cambodia, as well as various tribal and regional languages, such as the Munda and Khasi languages spoken in eastern India, and others in southern China. Later, Muang was found to be more closely related to Vietnamese than other Mon Khmer languages, and a Viet Muang subgrouping was established, also including Thaving, Chut, Kuoi, etc. The term, Vietic, was proposed by Hayes 1992, who proposed to redefine Viet Muang as referring to a subbranch of Vietic containing only Vietnamese and Muang. The term, Vietic, is used, among others, by Gerard Difloth, with a slightly different proposal on subclassification, within which the term, Viet Muang, refers to a lower subgrouping within an Eastern Vietic branch consisting of Vietnamese dialects, Muang dialects, and the Guan of Quang Binh Province. Topic. Lexicon As a result of 1,000 years of Chinese rule, much of the Vietnamese lexicon relating to science and politics is derived from Chinese—see Sino-Vietnamese vocabulary. Some 30% to 60% of the lexical stock has naturalized word borrowings from Chinese, although many compound words are composed of native Vietnamese words combined with naturalized word borrowings i.e. having Vietnamese pronunciation. As a result of French occupation, Vietnamese has since had many words borrowed from the French language, for example café from French café. Nowadays, many new words are being added to the language's lexicon due to heavy Western cultural influence. These are usually borrowed from English, for example TV, though usually seen in the written form as TV. Sometimes these borrowings are calques literally translated into Vietnamese, for example, software is calced into fan mem, which literally means soft part. Some borrowings nowadays, usually names, are multi-syllabic, for example, Kampuchea, Cambodia. Topic. Similes Vietnamese has two types of similes, meaning similes and rhyming similes. The following is an example of a rhyming simile. Nagio nu con mio. Wknmw. Poor as a cat. Compare the above rhyming Vietnamese example to the English phrase, as poor as a church mouse, which is only semantic. Topic. Phonology Topic. Vowels Like other Southeast Asian languages, Vietnamese has a comparatively large number of vowels. Below is a vowel diagram of Hanoi Vietnamese including centering diphthongs Front and central vowels I, e, e, U, a, o, a, a, are unrounded, whereas the back vowels U, o, o, are rounded. The vowels a and a, a are pronounced very short, much shorter than the other vowels. Thus, o and a are basically pronounced the same except that o is of normal length while a is short. The same applies to the vowels long a, a and short a, a. The centering diphthongs are formed with only the three high vowels i, u, u. They are generally spelled as ia, ua, ua when they end a word and are spelled i, uo, uo, respectively, when they are followed by a consonant. In addition to single vowels or monophthongs and centering diphthongs, Vietnamese has closing diphthongs and triphthongs. The closing diphthongs and triphthongs consist of a main vowel component followed by a shorter semivowel offglide, j, or, with. There are restrictions on the high offglides, j, cannot occur after a front vowel i, e, e, nucleus and, with cannot occur after a back vowel u, o, o, nucleus. The correspondence between the orthography and pronunciation is complicated. For example, the offglide, j, is usually written as i, however, it may also be represented with y. In addition, in the diphthongs aj and j, the letters y and i also indicate the pronunciation of the main vowel, i. Topic. A plus, j, i. A plus, j. Thus, te hand is taj while tai ear is tj. Similarly, u and o indicate different pronunciations of the main vowel, o. Topic. A plus, with, ow. A plus, with. 
Thus, thou brass is t a, while thou raw silk is t w. Topic: Consonants. The consonants that occur in Vietnamese are listed below in the Vietnamese orthography with the phonetic pronunciation to the right. Some consonant sounds are written with only one letter like p. Other consonant sounds are written with a digraph like ph. And others are written with more than one letter or digraph. The velar stop is written variously as c, k, or q. Note that d and g are regarded as two different sounds as some dialects in the north central region distinguish them. Not all dialects of Vietnamese have the same consonant in a given word, although all dialects use the same spelling in the written language. See the language variation section for further elaboration. The analysis of syllable final orthographic ch and nh in Hanoi Vietnamese has had different analyses. One analysis has final ch, nh as being phonemes, c, contrasting with syllable final t, c, t, k, and n, ng, n, and identifies final ch with the syllable initial ch, c. The other analysis has final ch and nh as predictable allophonic variants of the velar phonemes, k, and that occur after the upper front vowels i, i, and e, e, although they also occur after a, but in such cases are believed to have resulted from an earlier e, which diphthongized to i, cf, ac from aic, and from aang. See Vietnamese phonology, analysis of final ch, nh for further details. Topic. Tones. Each Vietnamese syllable is pronounced with an inherent tone, centered on the main vowel or group of vowels. Tones differ in length, duration, pitch contour, i.e., pitch melody, pitch height. Phonation one is indicated by diacritics written above or below the vowel. Most of the tone diacritics appear above the vowel. However, the nong tone dot diacritic goes below the vowel. The six tones in the northern varieties including Hanoi, with their self-referential Vietnamese names, are Other dialects of Vietnamese have fewer tones typically only five. In Vietnamese poetry, tones are classed into two groups. Words with tones belonging to a particular tone group must occur in certain positions within the poetic verse. Vietnamese Catholics practice a distinctive style of prayer recitation called Doc Kin, in which each tone is assigned a specific note or sequence of notes. <laughs> <laughs> Language variation The Vietnamese language has several mutually intelligible regional varieties or dialects. The five main dialects are as follows. Vietnamese has traditionally been divided into three dialect regions, North, Central, and South. However, Michel Furlis and Nguyen Thai can offer evidence for considering a North-Central region separate from Central. The term Hot Annam refers to dialects spoken from Northern Nguyen Province to Southern former Thua Thien Province that preserve archaic features like consonant clusters and undiphthongized vowels that have been lost in other modern dialects. These dialect regions differ mostly in their sound systems see below, but also in vocabulary including basic vocabulary, non-basic vocabulary, and grammatical words and grammar. The North Central and Central Regional varieties, which have a significant amount of vocabulary differences, are generally less mutually intelligible to Northern and Southern speakers. There is less internal variation within the southern region than the other regions due to its relatively late settlement by Vietnamese speakers in around the end of the 15th century. The north central region is particularly conservative. Its pronunciation has diverged less from Vietnamese orthography than the other varieties, which tend to merge certain sounds. Along the coastal areas, regional variation has been neutralized to a certain extent, while more mountainous regions preserve more variation. As for sociolinguistic attitudes, the north-central varieties are often felt to be peculiar or difficult to understand by speakers of other dialects, despite the fact that their pronunciation fits the written language the most closely. This is typically because of various words in their vocabulary which are unfamiliar to other speakers. See the example vocabulary table below. 
The large movements of people between North and South beginning in the mid-20th century and continuing to this day have resulted in a sizable number of Southern residents speaking in the Northern accent, dialect and, to a greater extent, Northern residents speaking in the Southern accent, dialect. Following the Geneva Accords of 1954 that called for the temporary division of the country, about a million Northerners mainly from Hanoi, Haiphong and the surrounding Red River Delta areas moved south mainly to Saigon and heavily to Bien Hoa and Vung Tau, and the surrounding areas as part of Operation Passage to Freedom. About 3% approximately 30, of that number of people made the move in the reverse direction tap ket ra back, literally go to the north. Following the reunification of Vietnam in 1975–76, northern and north-central speakers from the densely populated Red River Delta and the traditionally poorer provinces of Nguyen, Ha Tinh and Quang Binh have continued to move south to look for better economic opportunities, beginning with the Hanoi government's New Economic Zones Program, which lasted from 1975–85. The first half of the program 1975 resulted in 1.3 million people sent to the New Economic Zones NEZs, majority of which were relocated in the southern half of the country in previously uninhabited areas, of which 550,000 were northerners. The second half 1981 saw almost 1 million northerners relocated to the NEZs. As well, government and military personnel, many from northern and north-central Vietnam, are posted to various locations throughout the country, often away from their home regions. More recently, the growth of the free market system has resulted in business people and tourists traveling to distant parts of Vietnam. These movements have resulted in some small blending of the dialects, but more significantly, have made the northern dialect more easily understood in the south and vice versa. Most Southerners, when singing modern, old popular Vietnamese songs, do so in the Northern accent. This is true in Vietnam as well as in the overseas Vietnamese communities. The syllable initial CH and TR digraphs are pronounced distinctly in North Central, Central, and Southern varieties, but are merged in Northern varieties i.e. they are both pronounced the same way. The North Central varieties preserve three distinct pronunciations for D, G, and R whereas the North has a three-way merger and the Central and South have a merger of D and G while keeping R distinct. At the end of syllables, palatals CH and NH have merged with alveolars T and N, which, in turn, have also partially merged with velars C and ING in Central and Southern varieties. In addition to the regional variation described above, there is also a merger of L and N in certain rural varieties. Variation between L and N can be found even in mainstream Vietnamese in certain words. For example, the numeral 5 appears as nam by itself and in compound numerals like nam moi 50, but appears as lam in moi lam 15. See Vietnamese grammar hashtag cardinal. In some northern varieties, this numeral appears with an initial nh instead of l, hi moi nam 25. Versus mainstream Hai Moi Lam, the consonant clusters that were originally present in Middle Vietnamese of the 17th century have been lost in almost all modern Vietnamese varieties but retained in other closely related Vietic languages. However, some speech communities have preserved some of these archaic clusters. Sky is Bloi with a cluster in Hao No Yen Mo Prefecture, Ninh Binh Province but Troy in Southern Vietnamese and Joy in Hanoi Vietnamese initial single consonants Z, respectively. Topic. Tones Generally, the northern varieties have six tones while those in other regions have five tones. The Hoi and Na tones are distinct in north and some north-central varieties although often with different pitch contours but have merged in central, southern, and some north-central varieties also with different pitch contours. Some north central varieties such as Ha Tin Vietnamese have a merger of the Na and Nong tones while keeping the Hoi tone distinct. Still other north central varieties have a three-way merger of Hoi, Na and Nong resulting in a four tone system. In addition, there are several phonetic differences mostly in pitch contour and phonation type in the tones among dialects. The table above shows the pitch contour of each tone using Chow tone number notation where one Topic. Lowest pitch, 5. 
Highest pitch, glottalization creaky, stiff, harsh, is indicated with the symbol, murmured voice with, glottal stop with, sub-dialectal variants are separated with commas, see also the tone section below. <laughs> Grammar Vietnamese, like many languages in Southeast Asia, is an analytic language. Vietnamese does not use morphological marking of case, gender, number or tense and, as a result, has no finite, nonfinite distinction. Also like other languages in the region, Vietnamese syntax conforms to subject-verb-object word order, is head-initial displaying modified modifier ordering, and has a noun classifier system. Additionally, it is pro-drop, w-h-n-s-i-t-u, and allows verb serialization. Some Vietnamese sentences with English word glosses and translations are provided below. Topic: <laughs> Dates and numbers writing formats. Vietnamese speak date in the format date month year. Each month's name is just the ordinal of that month appended after the word thang, which means month. Traditional Vietnamese however assigns other names to some months and these names are mostly used in the lunar calendar. When written in the short form, D, M, Y, 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 is preferred. Example English, 28 March 2018 Vietnamese long form, Nghệ 28 Thang Ba Nam 2018 Vietnamese short form, 28 March 2018 The Vietnamese prefer writing numbers with a comma as the decimal separator, and either spaces or dots to group the digits. An example is 1629, 15 1629.15. Because a comma is used as the decimal separator, a semicolon is used to separate two numbers instead. Topic. Writing systems. Up to the late 19th century, two writing systems based on Chinese characters were used in Vietnam. All formal writing, including government business, scholarship and formal literature, was done in classical Chinese scholars characters. Folk literature in Vietnamese was recorded using the Chu Nam script, in which many Chinese characters were borrowed and many more modified and invented to represent native Vietnamese words. Created in the 13th century or earlier, the Nam writing reached its zenith in the 18th century when many Vietnamese writers and poets composed their works in Nam, most notably Nguyen Du and Ho Zan Hong, dubbed the Queen of Nam Poetry. However, it was only used for official purposes during the brief Ho and Tay Son dynasties. A Vietnamese Catholic, Nguyen Trong Tu, sent petitions to the court which suggested a Chinese character-based syllabary which would be used for Vietnamese sounds, however, his petition failed. The French colonial administration sought to eliminate the Chinese writing system, Confucianism, and other Chinese influences from Vietnam by getting rid of Nam. A romanization of Vietnamese was codified in the 17th century by the French Jesuit missionary Alexander de Rhodes (1591–1660), based on works of earlier Portuguese missionaries Gaspar du Amaral and Antonio Barbosa. This Vietnamese alphabet, Chu Quoc Nu or National Script was gradually expanded from its initial domain in Christian writing to become more popular among the general public. However, the Romanized script did not come to predominate until the beginning of the 20th century, when education became widespread and a simpler writing system was found more expedient for teaching and communication with the general population. Under French Indochina colonial rule, French superseded Chinese in administration. Vietnamese written with the alphabet became required for all public documents in 1910 by issue of a decree by the French resident superior of the Protectorate of Tonkin. By the middle of the 20th century virtually all writing was done in Chu Quoc Nu, which became the official script on independence. Chu Nu was still in use on early North Vietnamese and late French Indochinese banknotes issued after World War II but fell out of official use shortly thereafter. Only a few scholars and some extremely elderly people are able to read Chu Nam today. In China, members of the Jing minority still write in Chu Nam. Changes in the script were made by French scholars and administrators and by conferences held after independence during 1954 to 1974. 
The script now reflects a so-called Middle Vietnamese dialect that has vowels and final consonants most similar to Northern dialects and initial consonants most similar to Southern dialects This Middle Vietnamese is presumably close to the Hanoi variety as spoken sometime after 1600 but before the present. This is not unlike how English orthography is based on the Chancery standard of late Middle English, with many spellings retained even after the Great Vowel Shift. Topic. Computer support The Unicode character set contains all Vietnamese characters and the Vietnamese currency symbol. On systems that do not support Unicode, many 8-bit Vietnamese code pages are available such as Vietnamese Standard Code for Information Interchange or Windows 1258. Where ASCII must be used, Vietnamese letters are often typed using the VIQR convention, though this is largely unnecessary with the increasing ubiquity of Unicode. There are many software tools that help type true Vietnamese text on U.S. keyboards, such as WinVenKey and Unikey on Windows, or McVenKey on Macintosh. History It seems likely that in the distant past, Vietnamese shared more characteristics common to other languages in the Austroasiatic family, such as an inflectional morphology and a richer set of consonant clusters, which have subsequently disappeared from the language. However, Vietnamese appears to have been heavily influenced by its location in the mainland Southeast Asia linguistic area, with the result that it has acquired or converged toward characteristics such as isolating morphology and phonemically distinctive tones, through processes of tonogenesis. These characteristics have become part of many of the genetically unrelated languages of Southeast Asia, for example, TSAT a member of the Malayo-Polynesian group within Austronesian, and Vietnamese each develop tones as a phonemic feature. The ancestor of the Vietnamese language is usually believed to have been originally based in the area of the Red River in what is now northern Vietnam. However, Chamberlain argues that the Red River Delta region was originally Thai-speaking and became Vietnamese-speaking only between the 7th and 9th centuries AD, as a result of immigration from the south, i.e., modern central Vietnam, where the highly distinctive and conservative north-central Vietnamese dialects are spoken today. Therefore, the region of origin of Vietnamese and the earlier Viet Muong was well south of the Red River, like the ethnonym Lao. The name U, Viet originally referred to Thai Kadai speaking groups. In northern Vietnam, these later adopted Viet Muong and further North Chinese varieties, where the designation U Chinese preserves the ethnonym, both in Vietnam and southern China. However, many Thai Kadai languages remain in use. Closing parenthesis. This explains the fact that the same ethnonym U tilde Viet is associated with groups that speak Thai Kadai, Austroasiatic, and Chinese languages, which are typologically similar and share significant amounts of lexicon, but have different origins. Linguists Sagart 2011 and Bellwood 2013 favor the Middle Yangsta, although there is no direct linguistic evidence for this, and the expansion of the phylum in its present form would have to begin further south. Distinctive tonal variations emerged during the subsequent expansion of the Vietnamese language and people into what is now central and southern Vietnam through conquest of the ancient nation of Champa and the Khmer people of the Mekong Delta in the vicinity of present-day Ho Chi Minh City, also known as Saigon. Vietnamese was primarily influenced by Chinese, which came to predominate politically in the 2nd century BC. After Vietnam achieved independence in the 10th century, the ruling class adopted classical Chinese as the medium of government, scholarship and literature. With the dominance of Chinese came radical importation of Chinese vocabulary and grammatical influence. A portion of the Vietnamese lexicon in all realms consists of Sino-Vietnamese words they comprise about a third of the Vietnamese lexicon, and may account for as much as 60% of the vocabulary used in formal texts. When France invaded Vietnam in the late 19th century, French gradually replaced Chinese as the official language in education and government. Vietnamese adopted many French terms, such as dam, dame, from madame, ga, train station, from guerre, sami, shirt, from chemise, and bup bi, doll, from poupe. In addition, many Sino-Vietnamese terms were devised for Western ideas imported through the French. Henri Maspero described six periods of the Vietnamese language. Pre-Vietnamese, also known as Proto-Viet Muong or Proto-Vietnamuong, the ancestor of Vietnamese and the related Muong language. 
Proto-Vietnamese, the oldest reconstructable version of Vietnamese, dated to just before the entry of massive amounts of Sino-Vietnamese vocabulary into the language, c. 7th to 9th century AD. At this state, the language had three tones. Archaic Vietnamese, the state of the language upon adoption of the Sino-Vietnamese vocabulary, c. 10th century AD. Ancient Vietnamese, the language represented by Chu Nam c. 15th century and the Chinese Vietnamese glossary Hua Yi Yi Yu Chinese, Hua Yi Yi Yu c. 15th century. By this point, a tone split had happened in the language, leading to six tones but a loss of contrastive voicing among consonants. Middle Vietnamese, the language of the Dictionarium Animiticum Lusitanum et Latinum of the Jesuit missionary Alexander de Rhodes c. 17th century. Modern Vietnamese, from the 19th century. Proto-Viet Muong The following diagram shows the phonology of Proto-Viet Muong the nearest ancestor of Vietnamese and the closely related Muong language, along with the outcomes in the modern language. Carat 1 according to Furless, asterisk, and asterisk, are not accepted by all researchers. Furless 1992 also had additional phonemes asterisk d and asterisk squared. The fricatives indicated above in parentheses developed as allophones of stop consonants occurring between vowels, i.e., when a minor syllable occurred. These fricatives were not present in Proto Viet Muong, as indicated by their absence in Muong, but were evidently present in the later Proto Vietnamese stage. Subsequent loss of the minor syllable prefixes phonemized the fricatives. Furless 1992 proposes that originally there were both voiced and voiceless fricatives, corresponding to original voiced or voiceless stops, but Furless 2009 appears to have abandoned that hypothesis, suggesting that stops were softened and voiced at approximately the same time, according to the following pattern. Asterisk P, asterisk B greater than, beta Asterisk T, asterisk D greater than Asterisk S greater than, R Asterisk C, asterisk, asterisk, greater than Asterisk K, asterisk, greater than, cubed in Middle Vietnamese, the outcome of these sounds was written with a hooked B, representing a, beta, that was still distinct from V, then pronounced, with. See below. Carat 4 It is unclear what this sound was. According to Furless 1992, in the Archaic Vietnamese period c. 10th century AD, when Sino-Vietnamese vocabulary was borrowed it was asterisk R, distinct at that time from asterisk R. The following initial clusters occurred, with outcomes indicated. Asterisk PR, asterisk BR, asterisk TR, asterisk Doctor, asterisk KR, asterisk GR greater than, KR, greater than, K, greater than S, Asterisk place, asterisk BL greater than MVBL greater than Northern GI, Southern TR. Asterisk KL, asterisk GL greater than MVTL greater than TR. Asterisk ML greater than MVML greater than MNH greater than NH. Asterisk KJ greater than Jinote also that a large number of words were borrowed from Middle Chinese, forming part of the Sino Vietnamese vocabulary. These caused the original introduction of the retroflex sounds and modern s tr into the language. Topic: <inaudible> Origin of the tones. Proto-Viet Muong had no tones to speak of. The tones later developed in some of the daughter languages from distinctions in the initial and final consonants. Vietnamese tones developed as follows: glottal ending syllables ended with a glottal stop while fricative ending syllables ended with s or h both types of syllables could co-occur with a resonant eg per meter or n at some point a tone split occurred as in many other southeast asian languages essentially an allophonic distinction developed in the tones whereby the tones in syllables with voiced initials were pronounced differently from those with voiceless initials approximately speaking the voiced allotones were pronounced with additional breathy voice or creaky voice and with lowered pitch the quality difference predominates in today's northern varieties, e.g. in Hanoi, while in the southern varieties the pitch difference predominates, as in Ho Chi Minh City. Subsequent to this, the plain voiced stops became voiceless and the allotones became new phonemic tones. Note that the implosive stops were unaffected, and in fact developed tonally as if they were unvoiced. This behavior is common to all East Asian languages with implosive stops. 
As noted above, Proto Viet Muong had sesquisyllabic words with an initial minor syllable in addition to, and independent of, initial clusters in the main syllable. When a minor syllable occurred, the main syllable's initial consonant was intervocalic and as a result suffered lenition, becoming a voiced fricative. The minor syllables were eventually lost, but not until the tone split had occurred. As a result, words in modern Vietnamese with voiced fricatives occur in all six tones, and the tonal register reflects the voicing of the minor syllable prefix and not the voicing of the main syllable stop in Proto-Viet Muong that produced the fricative. For similar reasons, words beginning with L and occur in both registers. Thompson 1976 reconstructed voiceless resonance to account for outcomes where resonance occur with a first register tone, but this is no longer considered necessary, at least by Furless. Topic. Middle Vietnamese The writing system used for Vietnamese is based closely on the system developed by Alexander de Rhodes for his 1651 Dictionarium Animiticum Lusitanum et Latinum. It reflects the pronunciation of the Vietnamese of Hanoi at that time, a stage commonly termed Middle Vietnamese The pronunciation of the rhyme of the syllable, i.e. all parts other than the initial consonant optional, with glide, vowel nucleus, tone and final consonant, appears nearly identical between Middle Vietnamese and modern Hanoi pronunciation. On the other hand, the Middle Vietnamese pronunciation of the initial consonant differs greatly from all modern dialects, and in fact is significantly closer to the modern Saigon dialect than the modern Hanoi dialect. The following diagram shows the orthography and pronunciation of Middle Vietnamese. Carat 1 p occurs only at the end of a syllable, squared this symbol, Latin small letter b with flourish, looks like. It has a rounded hook that starts halfway up the left side where the top of the curved part of the b meets the vertical, straight part and curves about 180 degrees counterclockwise, ending below the bottom left corner. Cubed j does not occur at the beginning of a syllable, but can occur at the end of a syllable, where it is notated i or y with the difference between the two often indicating differences in the quality or length of the preceding vowel, and after and beta, where it is notated e. This e, and the j, it notated, have disappeared from the modern language. Note that b, and p, p, never contrast in any position, suggesting that they are allophones. The language also has three clusters at the beginning of syllables, which have since disappeared. tl, tl, greater than modern tr, bl, l, greater than modern gi, northern, tr, southern, ml per milliliter, greater than mnh per meter, Greater than modern NH Most of the unusual correspondences between spelling and modern pronunciation are explained by Middle Vietnamese, note in particular. De Rhodes system has two different B letters, a regular B and a hooked B in which the upper section of the curved part of the B extends leftward past the vertical bar and curls down again in a semicircle. This apparently represented a voiced bilabial fricative, beta. Within a century or so, both beta and with had merged as v, spelled as v. De Rhodes system has a second medial glide, j, that is written e and appears in some words with initial d and hooked b. These later disappear. d was and still is alveolar, whereas d was dental. The choice of symbols was based on the dental rather than alveolar nature of d and its allophone in Spanish and other Romance languages. The inconsistency with the symbols assigned to versus beta, was based on the lack of any such place distinction between the two, with the result that the stop consonant appeared more normal than the fricative beta. In both cases, the implosive nature of the stops does not appear to have had any role in the choice of symbol. X was the alveolopalatal fricative, rather than the dental, s, of the modern language. In 17th century Portuguese, the common language of the Jesuits, s was the apico alveolar sibilant, s, as still in much of Spain and some parts of Portugal, while x was a palatoalveolar. The similarity of apicoalveolar, s, to the Vietnamese retroflex, led to the assignment of s and x as above. De Rhodes's orthography also made use of an apex diacritic to indicate a final labial velar nasal, m, an allophone of, that is peculiar to the Hanoi dialect to the present day. This diacritic is often mistaken for a tilde in modern reproductions of early Vietnamese writing. Topic. Word play A language game known as Noi Lai is used by Vietnamese speakers. 
Noi lie involves switching the tones in a pair of words and also the order of the two words or the first consonant and rhyme of each word. The resulting noi lie pair preserves the original sequence of tones. Some examples, the resulting transformed phrase often has a different meaning but sometimes may just be a nonsensical word pair. Noi lai can be used to obscure the original meaning and thus soften the discussion of a socially sensitive issue, as with dam dai and hoang chua above or, when implied and not overtly spoken, to deliver a hidden subtextual message, as with boi te. Naturally, noi lai can be used for a humorous effect. Another word game somewhat reminiscent of pig Latin is played by children. Here a nonsense syllable chosen by the child is prefixed onto a target word's syllables, then their initial consonants and rhymes are switched with the tone of the original word remaining on the new switched rhyme. This language game is often used as a secret or coded language useful for obscuring messages from adult comprehension. Topic examples The Tale of Kyu is an epic narrative poem by the celebrated poet Nguyen Du, Ruan Yu which is often considered the most significant work of Vietnamese literature. It was originally written in Chu Nam titled Don Trong Tan Tan Duan Chong Xin Sheng and is widely taught in Vietnam today. Topic see also Vietnamese pronouns Vietnamese studies topic References topic Bibliography topic General Duong, Quang Ham, 1941. Vietnam Van Hoc Su Yu Outline History of Vietnamese Literature. Saigon, Bo Quoc Gia Gao Duc. Emino, M.B. Homonyms and Puns in Animes. Language, 23, 239-244. doi, 10.2307, 409,878. JSTOR 409,878. Emino, M.B. 1951. Studies in Vietnamese Animes Grammar. University of California Publications in Linguistics, Volume 8. Berkeley, University of California Press. Hashimoto, Mantero, 1978. Current Developments in Sino-Vietnamese Studies. Journal of Chinese Linguistics, 6, 1-26. JSTOR 23752818 Nguyen, Dinh Hoa, 1995. NTC's Vietnamese English Dictionary Updated ed. NTC Language Dictionaries. Lincolnwood, Illinois, NTC Pub. Press. Nguyen, Dinh Hoa, 1997. Vietnamese, Tiang Viet Cong Sun Fan. Amsterdam, John Benjamin's Publishing Company. Rhodes, Alexander de, 1991. 2 Dean Anum Lusitan Latin Original, Dictionarium Animiticum Lusitanum et Latinum, L. Tan, X. V. Hoang, and Q. C. Du, Trans. Hanoi, Koa Hoc Zhe Hoi, Original Work Published 1651. Thompson, Lawrence C. 1991. A Vietnamese Reference Grammar. Seattle, University of Washington Press. Honolulu, University of Hawaii Press, original work published 1965 I Ban Koa Hoc Zhe Hoi Vietnam, 1983. New Phap Tiang Viet Vietnamese Grammar. Hanoi, Koa Hoc Zhe Hoi. Topic Sound System Brunel, Mark, 2009. Tone Perception in Northern and Southern Vietnamese. Journal of Phonetics, 37 79-96. Doi 10.1016/j.1.2008.09.003. Brunel, Mark. 2009. Northern and Southern Vietnamese Tone Coarticulation: A Comparative Case Study. Journal of Southeast Asian Linguistics, 1, 49-62. Kirby, James P. 2011. Vietnamese, Hanoi Vietnamese PDF. Journal of the International Phonetic Association. 41 381-392. doi, 101017 so 02510031000181. Michaud, Alexis, 2004. Final Consonants and Glottalization, New Perspectives from Hanoi Vietnamese. Phonetica 61 119-146. doi, 101159 Nguyen, Van Loy, and Edmondson, Gerald A. Tones and Voice Quality in Modern Northern Vietnamese, Instrumental Case Studies. Mon Khmer Studies, 28, 1-18 Thompson, Lawrence East Saigon Phonemics. Language, 35 3, 454-476.
doi 411232 JSTOR 411232 Topic language variation Alves, Mark J. 2007. A Look at North Central Vietnamese. In SEAL's 12 papers from the 12th Annual Meeting of the Southeast Asian Linguistic Society 2002, edited by Ratri Wayland et al. Canberra, Australia, 1-7. Pacific Linguistics, Research School of Pacific and Asian Studies, The Australian National University Alves, Mark J., and Nguyen, Dui Hong, 2007. Notes on Tan Chuang Vietnamese in Nguyen Province. In M. Alves, M. Sidwell, and D. Gill, eds. Seals 8, Papers from the 8th Annual Meeting of the Southeast Asian Linguistics Society 1998, pp. 1 9. Canberra, Pacific Linguistics, The Australian National University, Research School of Pacific and Asian Studies Hoang, T. Chow, 1989. Tiang Viet Tren Cac Mien Dat Nuc, Phuong Nguyen Hoc Vietnamese in Different Areas of the Country, Dialectology. Hanoi, Koa Hoc Zhe Hoi. Honda, Koichi, 2006. F0 and Phonation Types in Nghe Tin Vietnamese Tones. In P. Warren and C. I. Watson eds, Proceedings of the 11th Australasian International Conference on Speech Science and Technology pp. 454-459. Auckland, New Zealand, University of Auckland. Pham, Andrea Wa, 2005. Vietnamese Tonal System in Gi Lok, a Preliminary Report. In C. Frigeni, M. Hirayama, and S. McKenzie, eds, Toronto Working Papers in Linguistics, Special Issue on Similarity in Phonology, Vol. 24, pp. 183-459. Auckland, New Zealand, University of Auckland. Vu, Tan Phuong, 1982. Phonetic Properties of Vietnamese Tones Across Dialects. In D. Bradley, ed., Papers in Southeast Asian Linguistics, Tonation, Vol. 8, pp. 55-75. Sydney, Pacific Linguistics, The Australian National University. Vong, Hula, 1981. Vi non zate ve dac diem kua van trong tho m quang nam o hoi an Some Notes on Special Qualities of the Rhyme in Local Quang Nam Speech in Hoi An. In Mo So Van E Non Nu Hoc Vietnam Some Linguistics Issues in Vietnam pp. 311-320. Hanoi, Na Zot Ban I Hoc Va Trung Hoc Choyan Neep. Topic Pragmatics Luang, Hai Van, 1987. Plural Markers and Personal Pronouns in Vietnamese Person Reference, An Analysis of Pragmatic Ambiguity and Negative Models. Anthropological Linguistics, 29 49-70. JSTOR 30028089 Sofana, Sri Shampa, 2004. Politeness Strategies in Hanoi Vietnamese Speech. Mon Khmer Studies, 34, 137-157 Sofana, Sri Shampa, 2005. Comparison of Greetings in the Vietnamese Dialects of Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City. Mon Khmer Studies, 35, 83-99 Historical and Comparative Alves, Mark J. 2001. What's So Chinese About Vietnamese? PDF. In Thurgood, Graham W. Papers from the Ninth Annual Meeting of the Southeast Asian Linguistic Society. Arizona State University, Program for Southeast Asian Studies. pp. 221-242. ISBN 978-1-881044-27-7. Cook, Joseph R. 1968. Pronominal Reference in Thai, Burmese, and Vietnamese. University of California Publications in Linguistics No. 52, Berkeley, University of California Press. Gregerson, Kenneth J. 1969. A Study of Middle Vietnamese Phonology. Bulletin de la Société des Etudes Indochinoises, 44, 135-193, reprinted in 1981. Maspero, Henri Etudes sur la phonétique historique de la langue animite. Les initials. Bulletin de l'école française d'extreme orient. 12, 1, 1 124 Nguyen, Dinh Hoa, 1986. Alexander de Rhodes Dictionary. Papers in Linguistics, 19, 1-18. doi, 10.1080-0835181860938924-7. Shorto, Harry L. Edited by Sidwell, Paul, Cooper, Doug and Bauer, Christian, 2006. A Mon Khmer Comparative Dictionary. 
Canberra, Australian National University. Pacific Linguistics. ISBN Thompson, Lawrence E. 1967. The History of Vietnamese Final Palatals. Language, 43 362–371. Doi 411402 JSTOR 411402. Topic Orthography. Haudricourt, André Georges, 1949. Origin des particularités de l'alphabet vietnamien. Dan Viet Nam, 3 to 61 minus 68. English translation. Michaud, Alexis. Haudricourt, André Georges, 2010. The origin of the peculiarities of the Vietnamese alphabet. Mon Khmer Studies, 39 to 89 minus 104. Nguyen, Dinh Hoa, 1955. Quoc Nu, The Modern Writing System in Vietnam. Washington, D.C., author. Nguyen, Dinh Hoa, 1990. Graphemic Borrowing from Chinese, The Case of Chu Nam, Vietnam's Demotic Script. Bulletin of the Institute of History and Philology, Academia Sinica, 61, 383 to 432. Nguyen, Dinh Hoa, 1996. Vietnamese. In P. T. Daniels, and W. Bright eds, The World's Writing Systems, pp. 691-699. New York, Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-507993-7. Pedagogical Nguyen, Bich Thuyen, 1997. Contemporary Vietnamese, an Intermediate Text. Southeast Asian Language Series. Northern Illinois University, Center for Southeast Asian Studies. Healy, Dana, 2004. Teach Yourself Vietnamese. Teach Yourself. Chicago, McGraw-Hill. ISBN Hoang, Tin, Nguyen, Zan Tu, Trin, Queen Tram, 2000. Vietnamese Phrasebook, 3rd ed. Hawthorne, Vic, Lonely Planet. ISBN Moore, John, 1994. Colloquial Vietnamese, a complete language course. London, Routledge. Nguyen, Dinh Hoa, 1967. Read Vietnamese, a graded course in written Vietnamese. Rutland, Vermont, C.E. Tuttle. Lam, Lee Duck, Emino, M.B., von den Steinen, Dether, 1944. An Anamese Reader. Berkeley, University of California, Berkeley. Nguyen, Dang Liem, 1970. Vietnamese Pronunciation. Pali language texts, Southeast Asia. Honolulu, University of Hawaii Press. Topic. External links. Online lessons, online Vietnamese lessons from Northern Illinois University. Learn Vietnamese with Annie. Video lessons by a native speaker. Vocabulary Vietnamese vocabulary list from the World Loanword Database. Swadesh list of Vietnamese basic vocabulary words from Wiktionary's Swadesh list appendix Dictionario Vietnamita Nam lookup from the Vietnamese Nam Preservation Foundation Lexicon of Vietnamese words borrowed from French by Jubinel List of Japanese Vietnamese kanjis by Jubinel language tools the Vietnamese keyboard its layout is compared with US UK Canada France and Germany's keyboards the Free Vietnamese Dictionary Project Research Projects and Data Resources http colon slash slash project dot ht dot lu dot se slash rewai rwaai repository and workspace for Austroasiatic intangible heritage http colon slash slash hdl dot handle net slash one o o five o slash o o dash o o o o dash o o o o dash o o o three dash ninety three ed dash five at view Vietnamese in RWAAI digital archive